Yeah, man. Obviously, them man there's in the building. Hashtag DMD podcast. Myself, Smoke. And it's Ike. Esteban. Boom. Rome's ain't here this week. He's having a little annual leave. <laughs> <laughs> man, I had to put in his, uh, Yeah, you had to put in a request. You had to get, <laughs> <laughs> to get the little week off. I mean, wait, have you got two weeks or one week? No, nah, he's back next week. He's it? back next week. Yeah. Okay, calm. But obviously, we've got... Oh, wait, actually, before we introduce the guest, hashtag DMD podcast dmdlive.co.uk if you want to send in any dilemma shout outs bangers oh, we've got a shout out someone someone's sending a shout out for somebody this week so we'll deal with that in a minute um obviously at dmd podcast across all social medias the youtube everywhere and then hashtag if you just want to you know hit us up and get involved in the combo on the socials oh yeah i've got a special guest in the building with my brethren hustler in the building hey, you still got my house you, do, you dropped out I haven't called that name in years, bruv. People call me that I walk straight past But him. you're still hustling, though. <laughs> I walk straight past him. You're still hustling, though. Trust me. You're hustling hard. Like, not, you get me? It's a new hustle. You're moving like yeah. a fed, man. Like, yeah. you're still hustling, though. No, because <laughs> no, it's a... It's he's, a he's, he's, he's got it's, the headphones it's, no, back in it's now, it's a new bro. hustle, fam. You know, just cause you, he's you on the phone, bro. You know what? You see, when I watch Power, yeah. I feel like Hustler again. Okay. Like I, like I should just phone the plug and get back in. <laughs> <laughs> but that, but, but what, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, that's not the only hustle though. You're no, doing something new and man still, you, you take, get what I'm you saying? You take the formula and you just, all right. You know what I'm saying? Because no one taught us how to, it's not really uh, business. Mm. No one taught us how to conduct ourselves in business, how to sell ourselves. And exactly. that's what we was doing. We're just doing it with different, what See, I was yeah. doing with different, different means. You know what I mean? I bring the mic closer just so it's, you get me? Yeah. But um, yeah, just, yeah. So that's what I was saying, just in the forms of, of that obviously you're doing the football team you're doing coaching you've got the badges right now yeah everything yeah eric you said everything's a hustle man everything's a hustle this is a hustle yeah, exactly Do you mm. get what i'm saying everything's a hustle and hustle doesn't always directly mean money it's getting it's bettering yourself getting something out of something you know what i'm saying exactly making nothing from something that's, that's oh, light yeah. work man that's it's, what good, we do. it's good to have you in the building this is second your second time on there as well yeah, man. You know, the maddest thing is down to get on there man, man don't i know here, bro. I don't <laughs> know. No, no. <laughs> hey Lots have been on, man, you know, phoning, man, regular, like, no, but I rate it because you don't just phone, man, just to say to come on, like, if something, come boom, on. you just chat to, man, like, yo, boom, that was sick, or you get me, just have mad conversations, which is cold, you get what I'm saying? So I know you're always keeping an eye on what's going on here, and, on, which is sick, not, so. There's not a lot of us from where we're from that actually make out of, in the process of bettering themselves consistently. consistently. Like spoke, yeah. we, we spoke about that word consistency. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, Coming from ends as well. Yeah, man. Where so man are seeing stuff. I support this because I'm proud of you. You understand? Thank you. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> and now got the man the them. All blushing and shit. The man <laughs> them are in there, the block, you know. <laughs> see the block, you know. It's true, actually, still. <laughs> I'm telling you, see the block, you know. But um, yeah, anyway, obviously, we'll get into everything that you're doing a bit later. But, but, but you see that episode that you was on, imagine when we had um, Lola here, shout out Lola, because she's doing filming now with like BBC, the rap show. Yeah. She's doing a rap show UK, which is sick. But like, that was the first video that went viral, fam. And we weren't even one. filming. Okay. Imagine that, we just, she just filmed one little shot, yeah? Yeah. And then I think the blogs got it one day and then someone sent it to me like, yo, boom. And this was on like, mad. It was just going everywhere. I said, right. And that was when we talk about mum, about when mum rings you. Sometimes you don't even want to pick up. Sometimes you don't even pick up to your mom, and it's Still. not that like you don't love your mom, but I can't speak to you every day. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. That went mad, yeah. That. <laughs> Depends on how many times she calls, though. Yeah, yeah. Come on, there's that. No, you see me. Mm. Same thing with my with my children's mom, with my mom. If you phone me and then phone me again straight away, you answer. I'll answer. Yeah, yeah. same. Yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah. I'll answer the phone. Because then you know there's something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll answer the phone. Like if you phone me and phone me straight away, but otherwise. I'm gonna get frustrated at whatever you phone me for because I'm mm. I'm doing this I'm doing a session I'm doing this I'm yeah doing yeah that. yeah I'm professional so you got you can't pick up all the time yeah, yeah. you've given away the formula now now everyone's just gonna call you twice now I lie yeah, but if you call me twice <laughs> now it has to be you know three the times you cried wolf and that <laughs> you don't want to play that game with me man <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to play that game with me you'll be stranded on the side of the road I phoned you I thought you was talking about blueberry muffins again <laughs> <laughs> so is, it, you is it the same rules for dads as well my dad you know what. Cause I think like if my dad rings me once, I pick up. Cause my dad never rings never me. Yeah, I yeah. That, you know what? Yeah. It'd be strange I'm like. <laughs> Cause so if he calls me, I'm a bit like, hey, I'm my like, dad calling. What's it, going man. on? But you know what? I like my dad's <laughs> phone calls as well. They're very short. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah not a, it's not a long <laughs> thing. Like it's just straight, straight to the point. Where is he? Like where are you? He's well, just I'm, like I'm, if he needs something, just tell you exactly what it yeah. means. Done. Yeah. There's no long conversation. Whereas. With mum is like a story, isn't it? Oh, Beginning, yeah, they little. need to they need to explain everything. Because they, you yeah. know what it is with mums, yeah? I feel like sometimes mums look at sons and feel like we don't understand, so they want to explain. And That's not that awful. we don't understand sometimes, but sometimes, you know when your mum's saying something to you, mm. 
And halfway through, she says something. You're already walking out. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I've got yeah. this, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. You get me? And then, like, where you going? Come back, innit? Like, I'm not but, finished. <laughs> yeah, but, like, come on, man. Hurry up then, innit? That's because of years and years and years of them speaking to us, speaking to us. And we're like, oh, we're done. Yeah. But we could have never brazen and be like, yeah, yeah, mum. Yeah, yeah. You have to sit there and hold it. And when you're grown now, you can just walk out the room. Yeah, and yeah mum, i got I got to keep it moving. Man. <laughs> nah, it's true, fam. But, you know, let's get into some, some shits this week. I don't even know where to start. It's all over the place. But, you know, fuck it. Send some prayers to Crep quickly because mm. a madness happened um, yesterday at one extra. Um, you know, I'm break this down for me because I'm, I'm lost. Man don't know the full thing, innit? Well, to be fair, Crep broke it down still. <laughs> he broke it down himself. Obviously, it's gone around. Everyone probably would have got the voice notes by now when this comes out. I've seen it in Bev, um, like, groups already that's been circulating around. So he kind of explains what happened. I don't really need to explain it for you lot. Like that. <laughs> long, long story short, um, there was an altercation at um, a one extra show yeah. that was happening in Birmingham, and I think he was basically got caught in a crossfire, and he got into altercation with people, tried to attack him, tried stabbing him. I don't know. I think they they succeeded. I don't know the, they took the, the severity of it in it, but as far as we're aware, he's okay in it. He's so. okay. That's the main thing, fam. Mm. Yeah, fam. So. Who did he send that voice note to? You know what? I was people, just about yeah. to say that. Do you know what's happening? People, do you, the voice note coming. Like you can't people send voice notes. You can't, circle, bro. Bro, you you know can't this, send out voice notes. Do you know what's disappointing? Yeah, you can tell in that voice note he sent that to someone that's, that's close private. to him. And it sounds. You get like, what I'm saying? You get so me? Unless he's purposely let that leak. That's well, a but, you, of trust. but you would know that it was going to leak, though. If you, this is a mad story. And number one, like when it did come in the first group. I was like, all right, we'll just keep it. I was thinking, rah, this is exclusive. And one of the man them that got it, I was thinking, rah, because mm. I know he's in, he's not in circles like that, but he knows he's around. rappers mm. around rap. You get what I'm saying? So I was thinking, okay. And then I just saw it in bare other groups. I was like, okay, this is just circled around it's everywhere. everywhere right? now, like yeah. three, four groups. I've What's seen that it groups on, that? on blogs already. And on stuff blogs and it. all of that. So obviously, well, I, if, it, if it was just that, I would have never played it. But because I saw it in like four or five groups, I was like, oh, fuck it. Everyone's, heard, everyone's going to hear it by tomorrow. But, Firstly, obviously, it's good that he's okay. Like, car, it's a madness. And number two, fam, why, like, why take the chain, fam? Like, bro, do you get what I'm saying? And maybe, uh, right, if you want to rob, man, just take something else, fam. But you know that his cousin just died recently. I swear it wasn't mm. even just his cousin he had. He had his grandparents on there as well or something like that, innit? I'm not even sure. So, and, but... and then Kedek was, like, the middle person. But, like, come on, man. Like, that's mad, you know? You can't replace those. Three. Like, no matter how much, he can replace it, but no matter how much it costs. Yeah. That is that original one is monumental. Do you get what I'm so, saying? So that that particular chain is it a chain that was owned by a Cadet or was it a chain that was made in memory of Cadet? I feel like it was made. It, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. He could probably announce. I don't know. And I just I, feel either like either way, it's, it's it is out, out yeah. of order. But at the same time, in the heat of the moment, when you're going through a madness with people, you're not really thinking about oh, that chain sentimental to that person, so I'm not going to rob him whilst I'm trying to chef him at the same time. Mm. You're not thinking like that at the time. These guys that are on the road, remember, there's no rules. Yeah, yeah, no exactly. Rules. But, they, no but, rules. but it's like the way he's made it sound is like they've grabbed the cadet chain, though. Obviously, that's why he's banging it. But in his head, it's like, what, are you mad? Mm. But obviously, to them, I'm, we're just robbing, man. No but it could be the only chain he was wearing at the time, and sometimes True. when you're rushing them, man, it's a poppish chain thing. That's, that's do you quite feel like, common. Do you feel like it was, it was a planned attack? Because he's saying that they were looking for money makes cool. But that, do you feel something like that could be an excuse? Like they might have seen him like, Rah, where's my man? Mm. And then he said, but I don't even know him or whatever he said. And then like... I think it's just an opportunist thing. Yeah. It's just it's an opportunist, opportunist thing. Man, want to just get themselves, like get their name on the map. You know, you, 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 you want to be able to say, yeah, we done this to this person so it makes them famous type of thing i don't know it's some men are always looking for that bro, it's, a, it's like, a joke thing how, how, how did they even get in with weapons this is this is this is what's going to be the next part now obviously first of all like well like you're, you're attacking crep crep's doing so much for the scene already you get what i'm saying he's just done, done the rap so the man's got businesses like restaurant music even if you're not the biggest fan of his music or whatever it's like, true what he does for the community is a lot he's doing a lot fam like you can't deny what them men are doing you get mm. what i'm saying fam but on that note now, bro, where, I don't know if it's Black Cutes that done it. I don't know, innit? Like, everyone that was running around in the video, it looked like it. But, fam, why do we keep messing shit up, bro? Like, Rated Awards weren't on this year because last year, man got stabbed. This year now, you BBC One Extra thing, man are stabbing man behind stage. How it's a true. man getting in there with knives, fam? And how, bro, you saying 30 man, 10 man have got in there with knives? So what is security really doing, fam? But remember, <coughs> you just work security. You know the thing. Like... Fam, man plug when it's phones. that area. So they'll plug nanks if they could. Yeah. Come yeah. But remember, when it's a certain area, you always get a certain security. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So like I've got, for example, there's some venues in which I go to that 
I know security in there. Mm. I don't get searched. Yeah. But I'm a football coach. I got no, you get you what I'm there, saying? I'm not going to have no, yeah, a whistle. Yeah. Like I got, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? I'm not on no smoke. I'm not on nothing. Mm. But I don't get searched. So I could have bring anything, anything in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's I true. But not that I'm on that. But yeah. I don't get searched. You, you feel know know like the saying? Birmingham man then would would have that, security, that venue on pattern still, yeah. I believe they would, man. Especially if you're of that mentality. Because I've still got a lot of a lot of my mentality from what I used to do. And mm. it's like, whether it's right or wrong. It like, can draw you in at any time. Yeah, do you get what I'm saying? I'm a lot better with but the mentality is like, I'm going there, I'm bringing this in or I'm bringing that in. Do you get what I'm saying? So for example, if I go to somewhere and I'm bringing my own drink. Yeah, yeah. No, I know there's no drinks allowed. I'm bringing but my you're drink. Bringing your drink because you, you want to vibe on your yeah, thing. Yeah, I want to do, I don't want to be spending 20 pound on a drink for one drink where I can buy a whole bottle. <laughs> It's and true, yeah, it's, no, I'm saying, I'm it's not, true, but that's yeah. logical. That's logical. That would no, make sense. You know what it is, though, isn't it? I, I guess like it comes down to rules as well sometimes, isn't it? Like, mm. If you're going to certain places, the the rules are rules, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Like if you know that, for example, in your case, you don't want to spend that twenty pounds. Mm. Maybe you just stay at home in it or go somewhere else <laughs> that you want to go yeah. to. Now, but I can't afford the night. But, no, but, no, 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 but no, no, no. you see, like no, you can afford it. The bottom line is, yeah, yeah. it's just like for example, it's one of them ones. Let's say you're putting on an event, yeah. Yeah. And the price at the, at the door is twenty pound, mm. and you get people come to the door and they're trying to get like, oh no, big man, allow it. Yeah, yeah. Big mm. man, it's a business, isn't it? Mm. Like if someone's put rules in place. Yeah. Let's just try and follow but the then, rules. But isn't that's it? that that doesn't come down to the man then because the man them always gonna try yeah, regardless. If it's your try. ends, you're boom. It's like security, for example, growing up in Wood Green, when it was KO days, yeah, man would try, but them KO bouncers would like shout, man can walk in. Yates man could walk in. Yeah. You, you see, see the, the KO, KO bouncers, bouncers they, brother. They wrecked their name. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. wrecked brother. their name. Because they rushed a few, man. Bro, they, they him out for they fun For there. fun, the fam. Few, man. They weren't having a bar, bro. bro you can try and walk there. up there and you're there every week. They will yeah. know you. But you still look like big man. Let me just like, like, yo, what's it saying? Let me go in there and see what, how much yeah. gal is in yeah. there and come. Nah. Nah. Yeah. You pay, pay in it. Yeah, you have to. It. You when you go up them stairs and they got that little the cloak group, that woman don't have a bar either. The woman, that what was her name? I don't even know her name, but she was militant. Mm. You'd be like, yo, darling, what well, got Charlie Sweet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. yeah, yeah. 20, that's yeah. £20 each. A serious thing, though. If, <laughs> like, rah. if you remember KO with Green, you know them bouncers, bro. Yeah, them bouncers are there. They did their thing. They he, so th- stuff like people. that. Like, <laughs> so it really, realistically, it should be the venue. They should be patterning. Because if, if yeah. you got the area a lot, like, you could just chat to them. Like, man, like, big man, come on, bro. Today, I normally you get in, but we've got a lot of artists here today. That we've got for it, but because they had American and UK, oh, you this is a big concert I'm, fan. I'm thinking about it. I like to think of things on every perspective. Mm. If I'm BBC One Extra, mm. yeah, I'm putting up. You have to pass responsibility onto people and and be and they have to be consequences. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. Get what I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah. like, all right, whoever the security is, whoever the security is, that's your last yeah. job, yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah, that's your that's yeah. your last job. Yeah. You think you're getting another job? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your it's last true. job. It's, it's true. the power that BBC. We talk about BBC. They should just blacklist them. Yeah, it's true. No, it's true because that's yeah. a big because obviously this will go against their life at risk. Yeah, exactly. Because they're reality. No, but and don't get and me wrong. And this is back. Right? This, you know what, Steve? Man, this yeah. is backstage, fam. This ain't even. But this is front, what I'm saying. Yeah. If if you're a security man, right? Okay, fair enough. If uh, I don't know, like twenty men have kind of rushed the door with mm. knives and stuff, you're I'm human like, being I'm, as well. I'm moving out the way, bro. Yeah, you move out the way. Yeah, yeah, yourself in the first and foremost. But at the same time. Your security, you know? <laughs> that's what you get I paid for. I hear that, for. but at the same time, are they getting paid enough to be putting their it's lives in danger? It's not about being paid bro. enough. No, it is the, 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 the job requires. The, yeah, but the staff security, like, like what? So the, wait, the, the if, 10 pound an hour security one might second. not so be. What, but if someone paid you a million, you'd put your life in danger. The point I'm trying to make is, It doesn't is, matter yeah, about the no, money. Let me finish. The point I'm trying to make is, yeah, people aren't, aren't meant to be in there with knives there in the first place, innit? They're not there to be stopping people from getting from getting ninth, bro. That's not that's not their on their job description, bro. So Obviously, so it may come for? as part. No, of but the that is their job, though. Wait, wait, what are they for? To stop weapons getting in, fam. That's their job, fam. Their job is to secure. Yeah, but people room, are bro. sneaking these weapons in, innit? Do you get nah, me? Nah, but if you, but if you get your, it in, in the first uh, place? if you do your job properly, then they can't sneak in. For example, my man used to work in security. I remember. I will never forget the time that I worked at Silver Spoon, fam. Bro, most one of the most ghettoest places in Northwest, fam. Right near Wembley Stadium. Yeah, mm. cool. Under 16s dance. I don't know. The security's only sent three of us down there mm. because he said, right, it's just it's not a lot of people. It's a little party, blah blah blah." Find out it's some big under sixteens rave, fam, or yeah. under eighteens rave, whatever it was. Big man, the youths were coming with vest, knives, bro. I'm searching, and I'm like, to, "Bro," I said to one of the youths, "Yeah, I said, bro, just pull it in the car. That's it. Just put it in the car, fam. We don't like just, just spoke to him quietly in his head and said, "Big man, you can't come in with that. Obviously, if anything kicks off, you you just run yeah. to your car and you do your thing, but it can't come in here." He's like, oh, big man, come on. I said, bro, come on, man. Like, there's bare gal here. You don't even need to be, fan. There's more girls here than there is man. There. Sometimes just talking to them and making man understand and
in where? Mm. Where the, the, the venues at? That's yeah. a good point. How much yeah. money are they making? Do you know? Let me tell, give you another. Like, you see, when it comes to these local things, yeah, mm. the security is is weak. But I remember yeah. I done a when I worked at Wembley um, Arena and Fifty Cent come, mm. bro. They had every security down on lock. Like, like the back gate, if you know where the back of Wembley is, they had a metal detector thing, mm. everything for him to come. He pulled up in the car, obviously tinting up thing. He come out in a dressing gown. Took off the dressing gown just in his boxes, walked through the, the metal detector, come out, they put a dressing gown back on and he walked through. I said, This guy's a G fam. But, no, but they had know, bare security for that. Mm. Do you know what though? But that's because it's 50 cent though. But, the, but you have to look at everybody the same, bro. You're, you're saying, securing but a sometimes, venue. But security. sometimes though, these people come and they say, We need this security in place. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? They come with their demands. Like, yeah, think yeah. about it. When we had Charles Alvaro here, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And he was talking about the entourage. Oh, the that Drake, Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man had the first car pull up and doing a sweep before his car Before he can even come in. So, Obviously, yeah. sometimes there's a dem- like the person demands a level of security if they're going to be in a facility okay, so somewhere. Okay, ma- so man like a Drizzy and a 50, is it because of the level of money they have and the stardom? Sometimes it's money. It comes down to yeah, that. Yeah, so they can... Sometimes, sometimes it does come down yeah. to that. Yeah, that because makes sense. Because if it was the Queen going through, going to the O2, bruv, nah, bruv, bruv, the whole area's getting locked the off. The whole area. It's bro. getting locked off. <laughs> She's going to be in O2 <laughs> by herself. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah, <laughs> big man. Just like that. All the Range Rovers and all the Jags right outside just circulating the whole <laughs> perimeter and she's just in there watching the show by herself. But um, exactly. no. What is the value of life? Exactly. That's, That's what you know what? That's what it is, you know? Mm. At the end of the day, like if you're don't try and blag it in it if you're security you're security yeah, yeah. yeah, like yeah. before you accept the job you know what it entails in it yeah. that's true yeah like if you, if you try and cut corners you're putting people's lives at risk exactly because people yeah. are depending on you yeah, yeah. that's true you know, you know what i'm saying true. so yeah. it's like like i said didn't it? if 20 man rush the door with knives you're a human being innit? and yeah. that's the thing we don't know the details we don't, yeah, know, we the don't details, know the full details could be what could have happened you can't no one's expecting you to kind of die like nah. but, you know you know what i mean but at the same time yeah, because, you're security yeah because these people at the end of the day like crep and all of them man that's gone out all the artists they've gone out to have a good time mm-hmm. drink perform mm-hmm. and think of it crept on them's brought the um the other the, the young people the ones mm-hmm. that from the rap show uk yeah so you got all of them performing as yeah. well so you know he's not coming on no what hurts me the most is the fact that every time like we get a platform to shine we mess it up we, we mess, mess it up, it up bro, but we like, do it to ourselves it's not even a matter of we mess it up it's just something goes wrong yeah it's just crazy man. it's an ego every thing every single time we you, get think a a, platform, you think it's an ego thing? a bit yeah i think it is a bit of an ego thing man because it doesn't happen in, all, in other communities like that. It's only our community. We always yeah. have these situations. Always. Always. It's true. I'm going to play devil's advocate. I'm not saying I believe this. Yeah. I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm sure I've heard in a, like, in some songs, stuff that them man there are talking about. Youngers that will do this and do that. Isn't that the same type of people that just did it to you? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I could agree with that. Yeah. They, they talk. Mm. So basically, they're, whatever they're putting out that's in the atmosphere. That's a good point. Sir. Yeah. I was, I was thinking about that in the car today, actually. I was thinking about that. Now there's 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 a fine line. And now you're going to next man's ends. There's a fine line okay. between like talking about stuff that you've been through and what's like because mm. I, I appreciate my hustle, I appreciate my grind, I appreciate everything I've done. It's made me who I am. Mm. I appreciate it. But I, sometimes I feel like when we get older we start hanging on to it. Mm. I'm not about that yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I may have it. been once upon a time. Yeah. I don't yeah. need to prove to anybody yeah. Yeah. or to still talk about it. Yeah. You're, you're on different stuff now. Yeah. yeah. Talk about different stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, saying yeah. that they don't, but sometimes we get drawn into talking about what we was. Do you get what I'm it's saying? Because, yeah. No, I hear what you're saying because they do make the tunes where they have the girls' tunes and they got the business mm. tunes where they talk about their. They got, they got cr- some tunes that make man want to say, but, yo. Yeah, but they do. They do jump on the drill side a lot with the youngers, the youngers and with what the youngers are saying yeah. you know i i thought about that actually the other day before all of this happened when they do jump on these drill tracks it's like yo they're they're pushing one side and saying yo they just want to help the thing and don't obviously don't ban drill because it's helping people get out of situations and that's cool and that but then you jump on tracks with these men and when you're listening to what these men are saying these men are talking the most crud yeah so what do you expect you're like the youtube youtube or Absolutely. the police or the government to think when these men are just talking nothing but crud, running up at, at a man's mm. block, catching man outside church, like and it's hard because remember you get what talking about their fan base. I understand where they're coming from. They've mm. got a fan. They've got loads of different fan bases. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course. They want us to try and obviously stay some sort of low to the fan base to all of them. them to yeah. where they actually are because it's the streets that actually were listening to their music. A lot of the time right. when they weren't commercial and everyone else was. It was mm. the streets like banging their music. I used to bang Krypton Corner. Mm. Yeah, hundred percent. But then, you know what, what but then is that the other side of the problem? Because this is another side that man thought about and. 
a lot of artists when they flip on the, let's say they go on the other side and they get a bit more poppy mm. or a bit more like commercial yeah people start talking shit people start talking shit and then they always like when something goes wrong over there they try and come back and then it's like we reject them because it's like nah bro you you left this scene though yeah, and you tried to go side. over there we're no, not really supporting that no more so do you feel like they're trying to stay in mm. like we need all audience yeah we don't want to leave this audience do you know what I, I, I have to disagree with that a little bit yeah, yeah the, the reason why I think that is because um obviously this d- new drill phenomenon's come now mm. over like recent times yeah. and I think they're just trying to get involved in the wave because they're seeing an uprise in fans liking this drill music yeah. so obviously if there's an opportunity to draw more fans from a new genre of music get involved in it think about it. look look at drake for example mm. drake is a guy who's jumped on how many different genres every so genre. he's got he's got a fan base in every genre that, in that, a sense you could say crept and conan are they're sort of doing there. the same thing because whatever's popping you'll move it you, you ride the wave do you get what i'm trying to say, Not trying to say i don't know but but with drake as in you're right with that shit, what you're saying because drake you could play at every venue you could play at a, a baby shower christening wedding wherever he's got yeah. a track but i don't know if crep and corner have no, a but track the, the for point, every no but the point i'm trying to make is drake you can see drake has been tactical in a way where he's thinking this is this sound is popping yeah let me get involved with that do you get what i'm trying to say so when the afro so, beats was popping he jumped right. afro beat so obviously yeah. now the drill thing's popping in it and you know, maybe Krypton Corner could be thinking, "Ah, oh, this sound is popping. Let's get involved in it, attract new fans." And they could do a thing on the beat as well because it doesn't. It's not. It's not far removed from what they've done in the what past. What they done, like yeah. Grime because yeah. it's the same BPM more or less. Nah, but you know what it is, yeah. As an artist, like, what do you represent in it? Cause yeah. Because I, yeah. I agree with what um, Lance is saying in the sense that it's it's like that's what you're talking about, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Like mm. that's what you're talking. What you put out there is basically what you're getting. Isn't what it? you're getting, yeah. I hear that. What? It's the content, like, isn't it? And also with the with the Drake comparison, like Drake is is obviously Canadian American Canadian, isn't he? Yeah? He's Canadian. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, spends most of the time in America, but they dictate the the trend in the terms trend, of music. Yeah. yeah, that's true. You understand? So whatever he's jumping, of course, is going to be successful because they dictate the trends. We don't dictate trends here. So who does? Well, Americans. we kind of di- we kind of dictate our no, trend. No, we don't dictate worldwide trend. Not worldwide no, but trend. The thing is, I don't. I think feel like the only the, the closest people that's about to do that is is DBE. They might be the they they're the bridging the gap between the UK sound and American sound, and bringing a whole new sound to the UK. There's, there's still a lot of work to do. There's, no, there's still. No, I get what I, you're saying. I, though. I don't. Agree I get what Steve that saying. The UK scene right now is trying to even follow the US trend. No, right we're not now. trying to follow the US trend. I know what what Stephen's saying is we don't set a trend for the worldwide. We're setting our own trend. Don't get yeah. it twisted. We're do we're making our own wave. But we're every, to the point I where just, I can't I'll put put capital extra on, and everybody is doing you, this sing song rap type of thing yeah. that America been doing. Been doing. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Every song is sort of that type of you know what i mean so but we put like, our, our own kind of sound in it in the yeah, sense of there is there is in, a, a, like a UK what you're style. saying is like obviously the us now mm-hmm. are starting to come and gravitate towards us because yeah think. we're making our own sound and it's happening the, mm-hmm. U, the us is coming over and they want to fuck with london because they're hearing the london sound but at the same time what steven's saying in the correct because if they come and fuck with us then they could then all of them automatically is that they set the trend because americans realistically don't really know about us. When we look at the majority scene, of right? America, when we look at this, look at this, look, put it this way, yeah. When Drake did a song with Giggs, everyone's like, "Yeah, he's gone clear." Why? Because he did a song with Drake. Yeah, basically. Why and were he people did, saying he, he did go clear, clear? Let's be honest. When um, what do you call it? Crepton Conan did a song with um, Jeremiah. They were like, "Yeah," because like these are all mainstream American, Canadian, mm. whatever you call it, artists, and mm. they set the trends. So, at the time, our version, our vision of success was if you do a track with an American gone clear you've gone clear and do you feel like a bit like that with D Block Europe as well no since they got signed by D no but before they were signed because Young has been doing this thing for a long time and yeah, he, no. I'm not saying he's not hard he's very hard D Block Europe probably for me they're probably the best in the UK right now killing the way the killing the sound right now. yeah they're the best fam. The al- that album there I was just listening to it just the other day it's mm. cold mm. I listen to it all the time but them being associated now with D Block yeah and being signed and being underneath them and then creating that sound and then it being easier for them to get artists like the baby or whatever onto their their album mm. that actually brings more i would say the pussy eating as well would actually i can't lie that that took them up another level as well because that's what it, they brought, talk in, about. it brought in the girl fans it brought in the, the girls level, fans easily they're fans. on that so thing they talk crap. that's all they talk yeah. about <laughs> is eating again, following train following trend they're following doing trend. songs about 
Nyamin cookie and all them yeah. things no, there. But, for, you know but you see, with D Block Europe, though, D Block no, Europe is going to start the trend for the UK. No, and then what's what going to happen is all the man are just going to start you know eating it now. It's just, no, no, the man going to admit to eating. Yeah, well, people I, are okay. eating and eating. Yeah, admit to eating. Is it a thing where people are just admitting it more in their music? They're just growing up. Is it that Are they just admitting it or they're just following the Americans because they've been talking about it? No, he's probably just admitting that he does it. I don't think they're. I don't think them are following America. Yeah, yeah. I think in that just sense. Admitting, admitting that they do. They're yeah. just uh, yeah, and now you're gonna have but a new because be even Young Bane, look at the Young Bane o- OFB. You might s- miss that one, but he says in there like, "I'll put your pussy on the tongue and grab my dread and my locks." But he says it Martin. slightly. Yeah, be, yeah, yeah, it's mad still. <laughs> but you know no, what? I don't. I don't. Man, them are starting to open up. I bro. don't think entirely if you do a, a song with an American, you've gone. And yeah, they've been part of the whole D Block movement for a while now. But yeah, a while. I'm still. sorry, like. No disrespect to D Block from the States, but they can't really make someone become that, you know, they can't make someone bust here, if that makes sense. Yeah, they're yeah. not the reason why D Block is who they are now. Yeah, yeah, they're not. Do you get they're what I'm gonna say? D Block have done that entirely by themselves because really and truly, how many people are really listening to Styles P and Jada Kiss now? No Do you one. get me? Unless, no it, one. unless you're no one. No, not, not unless no unless, old, unless old you're looking for the classics. Yeah. Unless you're thinking, okay, I'll, let me listen to some but old. To be honest, old I would rap. love to. On the way here, I was banging that Dave East and Styles P. Um, That's it. because it's Dave East. Yeah, Dave East, because he's a young generation right now, bro. Oh, he's cold. It was because it was Styles. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trust no, me. I'm but not no, knocking Stone. No, I'm not knocking them. No, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, you what can I say? Yeah, because look, look, they really, they what's crazy is D Block boss, com- not even wouldn't even say they boss commercially. They make D Block made the most money they've ever made ever made in music when they had beef with Fifty. That's why Fifty stopped beefing it. Because mm. mm. remember, everyone Fifty's beef with is crushed. He's, he's, yeah, he's crushed I said them, but mm. he couldn't crush D Block. Yeah, and had Fat Joe though. Do you get what I'm saying? Fat yeah? Joe, he couldn't crush. Yeah, he couldn't crush. Yeah, because again, that was the same time they had the streets behind them. They had New York, and it's like you're not. But you got what I'm saying they made they made they made fifty fifty made them make money. That, that's when they made the New York track, innit? it? it was, right, yeah. Only Ja Rule was gone, but that New York track was hard though. Mm. Here's a question, yeah. <laughs> Go on. So industry wise, yeah, should should we be creating our own sound, yeah, that we can market to the world, or should we be focusing on becoming successful? A bit of both. I feel like this is what Wiley's rant is about. If you want me to be honest, yeah, I get What's what Wiley what, talking about. He's on Drake and like. Like with the culture vulture thing, I don't believe that. I feel like Drake is a fan of the scene, mm. but he just happened to be the number one artist in the world, mm. and now he comes over here. He actually like, isn't a cheerinist. I used to be, not now, obviously, because mm. Drake's kind of just taking a little break. Obviously, <laughs> and, and no, no, but he, no, at but one point he was on on Hot Thing One Hundred. Every track was on no, there. Just do you know what it is? Yeah, it's Ed about the numbers. Boy, yeah. Ed Sheeran's numbers are crazy. Crazy, yeah. stupid, crazy. He's been ridiculous. touring for the longest. Like, it's bro. crazy. It's just I, no one can't do it. No one can't touch Ed. Songs in the top twenty. Let's not talk about Ed, though. <laughs> Let's not talk about Ed. Like Ed, he's a, he's a, he's an alien, fam. <laughs> yeah, them are out That's this world, alien, fam. You know? He's an alien. Do you hear what he done, <laughs> fam? The Man reason, bought, his whole neighborhood, he bought up the whole. But area, the reason why I'm asking that question, yeah, if you look look at someone like Ed Sheeran, right, humble yeah. beginnings. It's not like this guy had mm. some crazy kind of machine behind him. Right? Yeah. It was busking, innit? it? Humble beginnings, right? How is it that he's so successful? And bear in mind, he started out and he was on a rapping thing a little bit. Mm. He wasn't really doing what he was doing now. Yeah, but then he's kind of developed his own sound, and all of a sudden he's just missing. He's he's got not even gone clear. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but right. do you do you feel like he just like do you know what it's ma- it's weird to me? Yeah, I feel like anybody that and this is where I get Wiley. Anybody that touches our culture, yeah, mm. you're gonna bust, fam. What do you yeah? mean? Because no, no, I feel no. like Ed, no, because Ed Sheeran. I'm not saying Ed Sheeran's not big, and he probably still would be the biggest in the world. It's it's similar to like Adele, for example. But why haven't we bust him? Who's this we? is the prop the who? culture. Are you saying that anyone no, that the touches the bust, culture? Fam. No, but the thing the is, the culture's bust. Bro, remember, on. yeah. Hold on, one second. You know, hip hop is number one genre in the world, so that's bust. Oh, then no. we're coming. Who said hip hop is the number one genre? Yeah, no, hip hop is number one hold genre on. in the world. Bust into the artist. Are if you sure? Hold on, hold on. No, it's not hold on. If we're looking from the artist perspective, yeah, it's relative in it because some artists might go out there with the intention of just making it within the UK. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, the music market now, there's money in it, bro. There's money. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. There's money in the music market, so some artists now can do well in the UK, make a bit of change, and they're happy with that. If the Americans or anywhere else take towards their sound, then it's a bonus. But if they do well in the UK they're and good. they tour around nah, the UK okay, and make, make a change, they'll so be happy with it. Oh, it's but relative you to have, the artist. You right. have two types of artists, right? Mm. You might have the one that's trying to do it independently themselves, in it. In which case, they have their own personal goals, right? Yeah. But then you have the ones who get signed. Right, in which case they have to kind of uh, accommodate the goals of the the team behind yeah. them, right? Yeah. Now, as an artist, you can't tell me that I'm just gonna bust in the UK and I'm happy. Impossible. Not uh, not as a signed artist, because if you're a signed artist, they're like, gonna want you to bust the but world. But even as an individual, right? You know that 
there's a big wild wide world out there. Okay. Now the art, in nowadays on, anyway. Really the artist yeah wants music to change their life. You don't have to go America in order to make enough money no, 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 for we're it not to change their life. America. Bro. We're no. talking about success. I hear that, but the thing is, success is relative to the person. If it's a thing yeah, where what, the person what is success, just, huh? what the question I was going to ask is, what is it's success? relative to the person? There's no one that. definition. No, but so I'm if saying, it's, yeah. hold on, but hold on, if it's a thing where you just want it to change your life, like if you want music to change your life, and you do music, and as far as the the, the, the furthest you go is doing well in the in the UK, you tour the UK, you make money, and you're then able to change your life for you or that particular artist. That is their success. No, but that's not what we're talking about. When you're starting out, right, and when you finished, are two different things. If someone's finished, and then you and then you know they have bought a house, they have bought a car, they have managed to get a nice house for their mum. They want to, and that's as far as they went. There's new goals. They're happy, right? Because that's what that's what they achieved. If that was their goal, if their goal was to just get their mum a house, their house, and and a car. But yeah. as an artist starting out, right? Yeah. Are you not trying to tell me that you're looking at it like the world's my oyster? No, 100%. because anything I think you do, no, no anything no, you I have to, no, no, I'm not going to lie. Even when, no, even, no, you're looking, you do. That's, you're looking at, no, you can't put the artist like that because you're putting them in a business box almost. No, the but, thing but is, if you make music, like yeah. when you was making music, you didn't want everyone to hear it. Bro, it was more of a passion. I but you still want you. everyone to hear it because it's your people, passion. No, but the thing is, though, I only promoted to people in my area and then it went as far as it went. Do you yeah. get what I'm trying to say? I wasn't really thinking about, ah, oh, I'm going to be on stage show doing all this. Like, if that came later on, then fine. But the thing is, I did music purely because I just enjoyed it. Yeah. It was an outlet and I loved it. There was a passion behind it. And for some artists, once they've got what they've got, it becomes easy for them to just enjoy the moment because they're just enjoying the music at the yeah, end of the yeah, day. Yeah. They don't want to come and start feeling like a job sometimes because then it just, it takes the naturalness out of it, mm. if you get what I'm trying to say. And that's how a lot of artists probably feel once they get signed, they feel like it's a job because they got, no, they got album deadlines, single deadlines. If you, you, get if what I'm you go in there with this business mindset, oh, I need to come up with a song that's no, 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 no. like, that's you know, banging to no, blow, no, no. then are you really being true to no, yourself? No, that's not what's being said. It's just like a, any other business, right? If mm. you start up with a little shop, and you're, you know, you're making progress. If someone said to you, are you just happy, you know, happy making money in North London? That's what you want to do. Like, but the, the, hold some on. people will say, yeah. Some people no, will say, the yes, thing but is, what's the reality that they're actually happy not, making you're, money? You're, you're, you can't put London. the two together though, because people don't okay, open up a shop. About, wait, okay. <laughs> people don't open up a shop for passion. Bro. All right, let's, <laughs> of course they do. <laughs> not necessarily. Yeah, it's different. It's different. Yeah, that's true. Hold on, hold on. When it comes to like some form of art, normally it's a passion thing. And the, the money that comes from it is the bonus. No, but you no, said but people don't open up shops out of passion. No, but not necessarily a corner shop, bro. I what he's saying. Not a corner shop. People might be doing cakes, but saying, think about it, think about it. A cake shop, fine. I get that, but not a corner shop. If you're shop. opening up a cake shop, uh -huh. you can't do that purely off passion. You'll be out of business in three months. You gotta pay rent. No, nah, but not what? purely you off passion. Pay no, rent, but, bro. No, but, but, How are you gonna pay rent? The people, let's say, if you don't make money, no, let's it has say, to be a business. No, 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 it has to be. There has to be a business, but the passion. There has to be a business because there has to be a business if you've got Someone a shop. Someone who's doing cake for passion is somebody who's got Instagram thing. Oh, yeah, but, but it's the same thing. Because, no, but one second. If you, if you, talk, you, about, if you, you think about the ingredients, you think about the rent, you think about... Now, yeah, this is what happens. I hear that, I hear that. I hear what are, you're saying. These are all expenses, yeah? Yeah. But yeah? As an artist, yeah, yeah? Then it's the same thing. You can't just be singing for passion. All right, so what comes, that's what I'm saying, but there, here's what, what happens where you get in the middle now and you've got to compromise the passion or the money. What happens there? I'm telling you, uh, some artists will still you carry on for the passion, bro. But you have to you carry on for the passion, though. Because it's their outlet. And because look, it's, but then if it's, it's, the it, but it's the same as cake. I know people that make cakes right now, killing the cake business because they love making cakes and the they will make though, different cakes. And, but they're making money off the cakes, but they love making so wait, cakes. Wait, so you guys are telling me, let's, let's what use about even clothes shops? Let's use Ed Sheeran as an example, right? Yeah. Are we saying that he's not passionate about what he's doing? No, that's no, not I believe he's definitely passionate about what he's doing. What I'm saying is that he's definitely sacrificing some passion for that money, bro. There you go. 100%. He's definitely sacrificing some passion for some money. You know yeah, but his passion, make. the passion that he might be sacrificing might be just like, like fame or freedom. He might not want to be famous because he's not, he doesn't post a lot on Instagram. He's okay. not social media yeah. baby. He's just, he wants to do his thing, do you know, but he's in his local what? pub as well. He goes to his do local you know pub and chills for him. He just wants to be normal. I don't know, so I don't maybe know the fame, so the yeah. fame is no. what, <laughs> you get, know and look at what he done. But even like, like his with the um, his, his, his area. Bro, mm. he's bought all the houses around his area and bought all his friends and family in the area so they have a community. But obviously, he bought it off of the fact that a couple of people were complaining that the music was too loud. <laughs> so he bought the yard. Oh, he's gee. like, all right, well, you're making noise. I take a <laughs> meal, man. Shut up, man. I've got no, that yard do you now. You know what? I can, I can, you get me? I can, I can kind of understand where you're coming from, in it Because in the music scene, I can imagine you do something for a passion. People mm. are gravitating towards your sound. Someone tells you, you know what? You could go somewhere with this. Yeah. You're still enjoying it. You do well. Okay, let's say, for example, you blow up in the UK. You've changed your life. And maybe you start to think, what's next? That's what I'm saying. 
You so have to think I, what's next. Because if understand you blow up in that. the UK, yeah. Yeah. and then let's say an artist that you've grew up on, let's say Vibes Cartel, like man grew up on Vibes Cartel, and Vibes Cartel has heard my music, and you hit man up, <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm flying over today, fam. Let's get this track worldwide. You're going to be gassed, because now you know that Cartel could actually potentially put you worldwide. Mm. So you know, like, bro, I'm doing this now. Like, boom, you're going to be phoning everyone like, bro, this is about to blow me worldwide. So now you're not yeah. just based to the UK, but it's still passion. Because mm. this is an artist you like, you're going to write music and you're going to blow to the world. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So it can work in the same same kind of field. You know, the, uh, back to the question I asked earlier on, in it? About yeah, back to that. Should we be like focusing on being successful or kind of creating our, you know, what do you call it? What did I just even say? Like, like building our industry. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, your own sound. You know, I think La- um, Lance mentioned it, or you mentioned it. When, um, Say Krypton Cohen and you know they've gone clear. They've yeah. started doing you know, more commercial tunes. For whatever reason, it doesn't quite work out, and then they, they come back and people kind of reject them, thinking, "Oh, well, you left the scene," kind of thing. Why is that a thing? Why can't the scene be a I launch pad to try, a launch pad to try and kind of propel? It, it should be, but we're so flipping crabs in the barrel and all of that. Yeah, it's thing. crazy that that same we thing. we we're looking at them like they shouldn't progress. Like, raw, hold on, you left this to progress. And now you want to come back because you didn't progress. Does but hold on. Happen? But no. yeah, of course, fam, oh, of course no. that happens, fam. It happens to artists. Is there you... any artists recently that's happened to that we could think of? Um, Chip. Exactly. Chip. No, bro. Chip, Chip was a long time ago. When, like, Chip, no, no. Chip when did, Chip came Chip, back. Chip had to make his change of sound. He, 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 had to, he had to He had to do change his sound. I would say Dappy as well. Definitely happened to Dappy. No, but Dappy's thing was a bit different. thing was a bit different. Both of these guys that you mentioned, Simon Carr. they really like, even though that what they were, excuse me, what they were talking about was like, like it's what the streets that was listening to what they're saying, but they were never really street. They were never nah. about it. Yeah, they were. Well, that, I would say Dappy spoke street. He I don't was think on Chip this. Really did though. Chip never. Really Chip still street. don't. He didn't really, he didn't really speak. Street. Street. He never. No, no Chip spoke like he was around it. That's a fair point. He actually. spoke about he was around it. But, no, but Chip thing, about Chip thing, real Chip street. thing was more but, because and Dappy's thing. I think no, no. he more get fat. Like, Chip's more. I remember I saved Dappy from getting rushed in with Green, bruv. Do you remember when? Do you remember when Dappy was you around then? No, I don't think I was there that time. I was gonna beat him up for no other reason, bruv. Just stop it. Beat him up for no reason, bruv. That's mad. No reason. This is way before N Dub's bus. It's way before. Remember they came to Green. It was it was a clash and man are clashing, going back and forth. And man like, yeah, man, just gonna beat him up. What? Why? No, you can't, yeah, you can't <laughs> yeah, rush, man. Rushing, bro. He's not from the ends. But, I think but with, you know what? No, with Chips' thing, Chips was grime. So not that what he was talking about. And, he yeah, was a grime, a grime artist. Grime. And the grime scene fell off for a little bit. You did. So he had nothing to come back to. You know what? It's That's not a, a thing we we'll rejected. But him. he hasn't gone nah, back to grime, what? really. No, nah, but it's a fair point. It's a fair, it's a fair point. If we're talking about a real kind of street artist, yeah. Mm. Like for me, I'm thinking like the likes of, I don't know, Scraps, Nines, um, Gigs. Gigs. Okay. Um, these guys will never go commercial, though. Can they, though? Because but gigs is commercial, content, yeah. Gigs it's is commercial, not commercial. Co- gigs, no, but, gigs. but but you see, okay, this is where it answers limited, your question. Bro, this is, the thing. A, this is, is he not on Drake's bro. album, bro? Yeah, but no, forget <laughs> that. Forget, forget that. But this is, this answers your question, album. though, in the sense of it. You can actually create whatever they've done, whatever gigs and that done. Gigs didn't change what he done in order to bust. He stayed on his stayed same flow, same music. He's staying consistent from day dot to now, and he made it happen. So therefore, it, people probably look at it like you don't really need to leave. But and, then, and this is this is what goes back to the Wiley point. Wiley's on a thing where why is everyone trying to jump on grime now and bust off grime, but you lot ain't trying to push grime to get okay. to where grime needs to be. Right. People were saying grime was gigs, dead. Yeah. Sorry, Ike, one people saying grime was dead. Wait, yeah. Back to um, gigs. Yeah, does gigs have worldwide adoption? When you say adoption, what do you mean? Like, do like, they do they like him? Yeah. Like, is it just... No, they don't. Do you know what? It's a matter of... I don't. I can't they, they, answer that. One well, of the you have, biggest... You have to ask him where he's touring. Because if he's touring in internationally, he must have worldwide Yeah, he, he will, No, he will have worldwide fans. So then but not as in... I don't think... No, but, question, no, 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 no. But I don't think... what. No, I don't the, think the they love him is, yeah, like if, the UK love him. If, if he's got Does worldwide adoption, yeah. I mean, the charts are there, innit? Yeah. Well, that's, he taught, that's he, ultimate, not ultimate proof, but that's when proof, he, yeah? but He tours, on. he definitely tours worldwide, tours. though. People are buying his tickets no, in these foreign countries. And he's selling no, out. He's trying to speak English. I get <laughs> it, I get it, I get it. But the point I'm making is, yeah, is it a matter of he just remained consistent to what he was doing and bus, or did a really powerful artist decide, you know what, I like this guy's sound. Put nah, him on his he, album and then gave him exposure. No, 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 no,
but he hasn't changed. No, but the point I'm making is, yeah, there's a difference between busting off your own success and busting because someone said to you, I like your sound. Let me put you on my album. There's a difference. So, so do you think that- busting off his own success and Giggs I reckon, it. yeah, that's the difference. You I'm saying that Giggs, yeah, Giggs is like, a, is an acquired taste, isn't it? Not everyone, like his music is not, not commercial. Yeah, it's not commercial. Not everyone's gonna like certain, it. Only certain people will be like, yeah, I feel that. Like maybe because they have a, a relation to like the, the type yeah the role of the streets talking about. yeah exactly whereas Stormzy Stormzy is not talking about all that stuff all the time no, he's, he's a commercial he's, he's clever with what he's talking about though he he's knows clever about saying like he's more this wordy. is what I uh, this is what I used to be and you know I'm, this is you what know, I've been around because not all is talking about the man them are with me now this is what I'm saying now Giggs is every single track now yeah Giggs I'm not gonna lie I'm just gonna you can you imagine Giggs on a talk show. Yeah, 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 bro. Giggs, Giggs, hey, Giggs is bro. articulate, you know. No, Giggs is no, very I'm articulate. I'm talking, I'm talking, give me a tune. Yeah, where he's not talking his intellect. I'm huh? not got bare love songs. Yeah, he's got bare love songs. He's got bare. Give me a tune when he's not talking. I don't, but, but I, I've heard too many of like as give in. Me shout, let me shout out crazy. Let, let me shout out crazy. Obviously, when you're, you're doing your thing, but crazy put crazy used to put man on gigs all the time. Him and um and Tiny Boost like he used to Bluetooth man tracks all the time. I feel like he was more cruddy back in the day. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. He's not. Yeah, as, he's not. He's not really like that well. now. He's, he's, he makes good songs now. Fam. Not everything's lyrics. cruddy, fam. No, I get it, but I'm saying, give me one song yeah, that isn't cruddy right now. That's what I'm asking. I, I check that out, man. Okay, okay. Let's see what he's saying. No, the fact that he has to even have to look it up. He's saying he's typecasting himself. But I feel like I feel like, like I feel like, like I, listen. I'm no, a but what's wrong with looking yeah? up? I don't remember the name of every single track. The point. But if I said to you, give me a tune where I don't know Chip wasn't talking cruddy or something like, or but Chip that's because none of his songs are like that, bro. The bottom line is, yeah, there's two types of busting in it when it comes to this industry thing, innit? it's either you do it like your type of music is mm. just acceptable yeah, he had, by the majority, mm. or it's a matter of one or two people going, yeah, I like that sound. Because, mm. like I said, it's an acquired taste, his music. So what's that and tune? How about Hello Baby? What's that? The Hello Baby, the one that you talk with, the, the girl. That's that's not a crazy song. Which one? It's on his album. That's you're talking about. You know which one? Yeah, that's it a goes, girl tune. Yeah, that's a girl tune, fam. Which it one? It goes, Hello Baby. So you don't even know the song, bro. Because you're not listening to the song yourself. Wait, 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 which one? I, I don't know the song. Is it not, his tune? It's his, yes. it's on his album. It's on his album, It's his song. With who? By him. <laughs> don't like try it with, with you know it's that's him like, that's like has, he, has he got i'm just again playing devil's advocate because i ain't listening he's got a few still but you know is, it, is there up. is there a point in the song because a lot of rappers not i'm not saying gigs i know he's gonna do that's a point in the song one line in it he must have said something is there a point in the song is there a point in the song where he tells the girl hold my strap <laughs> you see I know what about. you mean. See what I'm saying. You see what I'm so what I'm saying is like, <laughs> is that because is that because he just wants to go back to that? Is that because he's stick, sticking true to his identity, or is that because he doesn't have anything else to talk about? You know, but you know what? Like, is, yeah. the answer. No, only you know gigs is, will be able to give you the yeah, answer. Only gigs, gigs, yeah. I'm not, gigs. I don't doubt his internet because the way he's, as I said, what mm. look, he's he's successful. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah, yeah he's yeah. made something of himself. Yeah. Like. Giggs was in a position where we see a lot of people in on the roads with their straps selling crap. Like we've seen it. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. still so doing he, it now. Come out grown up with yeah. still doing it now. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? He's he's come out of it. And we can question his decisions. Oh, you shouldn't have done that on a Amanda. How many of us no, we, make stupid decisions, bro? Yeah, he's grown. And, yeah, and you know, know what I'm saying? Grown, his personality you know that is shown you, through you, you, is you sick. You have to give him credit because 100%. some people are fans of him not even because they relate to his music, but his wordplay is actually mad. But the word have you actually to his lyrics? His wordplay is sick. If you listen to him Giggs first, he's first bars, when he was bro. original, when yeah. he first came out, I'm not going to lie, it was very nursery rhyme. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was very, basic. Basic. very it was basic. One, one, basic. one syllable listen per rhyme, like album, that bro. and cat. And yeah. now he's listening listen to his song. Yeah, he's, doing, yeah, yeah. he's doing metaphors. Yeah. And I, I, no, I'm not going to English class. No, I don't know. I feel like back in the day, he did have certain tracks where he was lyrical that which made they me stay catchy. on him. They but were mad catchy. They were catchy. Mad catchy. But most, of them were, most of them were catchy, and a lot of the basic ones went out. Yeah, but come on, if you got the underground thing. The metaphors thing, were, were, were basic. That's when you end up red like a portion of chips. Yeah, no, no. But you know what it is? No, but there was some. No, but there was some. No, but there was some. Wait, wait, wait. catchy. It's the fact that it was gigs. It was gigs. And the way he said it, like you like believed him. people, like they say certain things and you just think, yeah, yeah I believe that. I like, believe yeah. that. Yeah, yeah you believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand with certain people, they speak and you're just like, yeah, yeah, I believe yeah, what my man's saying. Yeah. <laughs> like if Dappy said Porsche, like, come on. Oh, allow no it, Dappy, man, allow it, man. Like, but you, you know, know you can't judge a book by its cover. No, but he did, he had a, that's another conversation. He, oh, he, he had a couple tracks where he did rap on on certain tracks. Like he would be a lot faster than I'm like, okay, he can change it. But this was his, yeah, this was his thing. But he's, then obviously he's been doing it more recent. When he jumped on the grime thing, like I was, anything, when he jumped on the Kano, was with, 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 um, Kano. Kano I'm when he jumped on Kano, well. now about Giggs, Giggs, I said, listen, Rah. Giggs been doing his thing, yeah. Even back before the whole Drake kind of um, alliance. Yeah, way before he was, doing, he was doing tunes with Anthony Hamilton when he was popping. 
Do you get what I'm saying? But Mike, this is what I'm saying. This is why this is why I said Giggs was already where Giggs was before Drake come. Um but you know what it is, yeah. If I don't want to say. Yeah, I want to kind no, of say Skepta. Gigs, what about Skepta? Yeah, I was wait, about wait, wait, I feel wait, like Skepta was okay, more. I'll, I'll, I'll get to that. The reason why I was asking that question, yeah, if Giggs yeah, was to kind of switch up the lane, like in terms of what he's talking about, and and goes maybe a little bit more commercial, of course he would make a lot of money. Yeah, because the talent's there. Mm. He will make money, but he won't because he's Giggs and he likes to stick to what he knows, isn't it? And he'll stay. And it's worked for him though. But he's, he's, he's proven that you can push your own genre and just take it to where you don't have to change in order to make the peas, fam. You know the thing- I with, feel like he's proven The that. thing with Giggs here, when he came out, he was probably one of the few um, artists doing rap in the UK. Nah, man, there was bare oh, rappers, on, bro. Man. No, he was the first artist to rap UK style. This is what If I'm you want to say that. No, this one. But I'm there saying. was bare rappers before him. No, but I'm saying he was one of the few Mm. That rap, he no, he was. I wait, have to disagree. Okay, who else was doing rap? You had because when I was this, when I first, when I first started listening to gigs, Blade Brown was about as well. Yeah, Blade yeah. Brown was, was about gigs. Yeah, do the do the check check it. Gigs was one of the very few rappers that was doing rap. Blade Brown was no man. I would say I would say if Blade I'm honest, I would say that gigs changed you know the game. Blade I would Brown, say, Blade I would Brown say gigs, 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 gigs changed the game. If no. you want to say that, yes. gigs was bigger, but Blade Brown was doing the same, was doing UK rap as well. Bro. They were coming up more or less around Listen, the same time. I'm yeah, probably, but Brown gigs changed the game. Yeah, but no one knew Blade Brown. Yeah, no. basically. If you was listening to underground rap, you no, knew but Blade I'm Brown. I'm saying no one knew. But even if you, if you, even you're if you saying, weren't listening to underground, even no, gigs wasn't commercial. Not commercial, but I say in terms of getting close, people. Having you know, an idea it just, and it just depends on are. how close to the street tunes you are. All it I was, used to follow yeah. it a lot. No, so, and all, really right, like, all it was, any Blade all it was, tunes coming that, on in a house party or a bro. Room. That walk in the park track. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That was that everywhere. took that took. Okay, fair Because g- I'm not like, well, I'm not gonna lie. I worked at Tudor Rose one wait, time. Wait, 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 one second. And that walk, second. Oh, when that tune came out, yeah, yeah, walk in the park. What Blade Brown tune was out. Bro, I never said that Blade Brown I'm had saying, a tune as big as But this is what I'm trying to tell you, like yeah. When Giggs was about doing the rap thing, he was one of the very few. That's the point I'm trying to the make. The thing is, do you know walking that Walk in the Park tune came out time before it, it came That's what I'm big. saying. Time. But the thing is, the t- when it originally first came out, Blade Brown was about, it's just that that particular tune went off. No, I'm saying. When and the then everyone first, else started hearing about it. when it became it. commercial, when it first When it came first out. came out, then man, the other rappers were there, bro. Like, yeah, Tiny Boost was even rapping yeah, with Tiny Boost Yeah, Tiny Boost was rapping with Gigs still. But what did I say? I didn't say that he was the only one. You I did. You said he was the only few. one doing UK rap. Did I say that? One of the few. No, it was one of the few still. He said one of the few. Um, <laughs> and then, but what I did like about Gigs and on his mixtapes, he actually brought through all of his mandem. No? He had bare of his bread. And even when he was, he did bust. He still was putting the mandem on. Like, which I like that. You get what I'm saying? Mm. When I first heard that Walk in the Park track, like, obviously I knew it was out from time, but then I never really took paid attention to I was working at Tudor Rose one time mm. and it went absolutely off the whole dance. Yeah, this was singing. Went, and I'm outside, I was out on the door and the place is rocking. I said, Ra, what's, what's this? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It went mad. It's like, and everybody knew every single lyric from start to yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, and it was yeah. fresh. The progress is mad. I remember, was it, was it FIFA 18? And a man's song came on FIFA. I was like, I was surprised. Are you serious? I was proper surprised. You know. His song came on FIFA. And even the crud he's talking on the song, I'm saying, they're selling this to kids. They're selling <laughs> this to <laughs> kids, bro. <laughs> bro man's talking. You know that song with, what's his name? There. The song with, what's my man's name from um, the other side? So I don't even know his name, man. He's from, I swear he's from, because Giggs is from Peckham. Where's oh, that, you're that, talking about Sneakbow. That's the song. They yeah. had the song, oh, that yeah, song yeah, there yeah. together. You know what? You know what's funny? Because when I was working at Sky in like 2000 and, 10, 11, there was one, my, my, well, I don't even know his, what his name, I don't remember his name, but he, me and him was tight in, school, in in Sky, me, him and Twiggy. And he was from Brixton. He was Sneakboat's boy. And he kept yeah. telling me about Sneakboat. He's like, watch this you, watch this you. I was like, yeah, but gigs right now. And he's like, fuck gigs. Well, we got like, trust me. I said, bro, what's going to happen one day? Yeah, is obviously Sneakboat is going to get big. Mm. And Giggs is gonna get big, and they're just gonna end up doing a track, and then Brixton mm. and Peckham, you lot are gonna just have a link up and whatever. He's like, fuck that, we're never linking up with Peckham. Like they, he was on all of that. Yeah. I was like, one day it's gonna happen. And then when they took the pictures together, yeah, yeah I wish I didn't even have his number, fam. I was like, bro, <laughs> look at like, this, fam. I was happy like things like <laughs> look that. at this. So like that. I was, I was happy with that. But that's yeah, good, man. fam. That's yeah, progress. Yeah, yeah. I've been hearing yeah. Brixton and Peckham beef for the yeah, longest, yeah. Time. the longest, fam, the longest time. And then two people actually can come, actually both talking the crud that they're on this stuff, and they've actually come and said, you know what, link up. Money and make the money together, yeah. but that's but what the, co- the comments about, right? was that's mad. Real success, man. The comments was mad yeah. under there, I'm but sometimes yeah, you gotta ride the comments. Yeah, there was like, oh, oh PDC never done yeah. the, the, like, man, I'm riding jail, but like, school, bro, cool. Forget like, all of that. That's happened. 
Did you, now say, got, you say PDC? I don't know whoever they PDC were. Was, uh, yeah. was about. Yeah, PDC was about. They you were originals. PDCs. I swear PDC was way back in the South. You know what you're south. saying? Huh? You know PDC is? Rappers. Yeah, they're rappers from South. They're South, don't they, son? Ain't PDC like a gang? Yeah. But they did music. They did music. And they were rapping UK rap. PDC. PDC. Yeah, Name me a, a, one of them. DVS. Judge of Souls. Yeah, jo- that's what I was gonna say. Judge of Souls. Yeah, that's what he was doing. It. Yeah, yeah, he was doing it. Yeah, Again, Soul, I yeah. said one of the few. Anyway, P- PDC probably was originals. Yes. Is he not listening? Yes. They, they were probably the originals. Yes, I'm claiming this. No, but what did I say? But, <laughs> yes. but, but this is what I'm saying. Yes. With that, with PDC, yes. there was more like they had that American flow. Oh, no, no, they yes. Get out. But they did. Did they not? True. Did they not? True. He's right. Be honest, Ice. They did it. That's why I say Giggs was the first one. Get out. He doesn't know what's going on. That's why I say Giggs was Giggs. Giggs started. Uh, bro, come down. on, bro. How am I too it young? I'm naming, this, I'm naming all these names. You it barely is, even it, knew who PDC it, it, it was, right? Come on, man. Guy, bro. Don't try it, bro. Judge of Souls, they had them lot. They were doing their things. They were the American flows. But they were the American flows. But they were the original. They were the first rappers, innit? If you want to say that. But Giggs changed it and said, fuck that, I'm doing this flow. This is, I'm on this UK thing. And then from there, it just started to everyone started sounding like we was from here and not from New York. So, <laughs> hold on. What about um, Mash Town then? When did they come about? Ooh, that was years ago. Ooh, Mash Town, you know. Hey, do you remember? What Another one. Me? One second. Hit him again. Wait, what's it? Mash Town was before Bro, Giggs as well. Yeah. Yeah. Today, you know. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not gonna. Hey, you know what? If we're gonna do sure? that, you know, Mob Stars as well, you know. Mm, mob Stars. <laughs> they were in there as well. Had Mob Stars albums still. Same time. But do you remember Mash Town and Mob Stars done a thing together, innit? They and this they done a track together. It comes down to how close you are to that type of music. Yeah, but then how many people actually heard the Mob Stars album? I remember Mash Town got shut down. Yeah. Then when they got shut down, yeah. bruv, the, the industry they did, shut them they didn't down. Want, yeah. Do you understand? Where gigs got, they got a blight. For Let's no, be fair. They were shutting down, they were they shutting were down shows. Right. That Mob Stars album was sick, though. They were shutting down his shows, but he was still getting music out, though. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. True. Yeah, boy, you know what? But you know what? Well, you, lot, you lot hit us up. Hashtag DMV podcast. Let us know. You get me if we're, where we're at in line with this, with people starting or whatever. But what else we got? We got a lot. We got a lot of things to get through, but we ain't got that much time. No, we got time. We got time. Let's do it.